Life belts of the month are talking points. Still talking about permit to work. If something happens when we're in a confined space, right, and we have our monitor and the monitors go off, let somebody know, hey, my monitor's going off. Normally it could be battery sensors, something like that, hopefully so, but if not, we really need to go uh, a different route. So it's all right if I go ahead and stage them in the packing area when I pull them out for 700 engines? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. When the packers do come, like last time, we left them a space. We leave four foot in between one item to the next. Okay. All right. All right. We good? Yep, good. All righty. At Galena Park, we take our existing rigs or assets and modify them to super spec capabilities. We basically receive rigs in, donor rigs, we convert them to walking rigs. Quite simple, right? We, uh, we rig them up, run them out, rig them down, load them out. This industry is only going to get more complicated as it evolves. We always want better, we want faster, and we want more accurate. And that is what a walking fletch rig gives you. We source and prepare all the materials for our walking rigs and all the other projects that we got going on. Inventory you then, that's two weeks to two months out. We get a naked skid and all the way down from the biggest component to the smallest boat and washer. And at the end, test it in the rig of yard. We try to find anything that's messed up that, that's not working here. We take all feedback serious we get from the field. And uh, if we're not doing it, we'll incorporate that into our checklist. That's how, that's how we get better. Morning, Ray. How's it going? Do we even need frost bars? I like uh, you got the buffer zone. They could still get to the safety office over there. We wrote like a little JSA and procedure too as well. Sure. That's all I got. So I work with different departments and various vendors on assessing risk. When it comes to training, giving feedback, expectations on tasks that we do here that might be site specific, and then also a healthy culture, right? Constantly finding ways to improve What's up? and support that How culture. Much? Tell him, I said, man, if we can get the weight on that thing, I'll make sure we put it on our chart. Are you gonna walk over there with me? My main focus is I'm constantly promoting and supporting health and safety. I guess that's the best way to do it. Obviously, safety is very important for h &P, right, as a whole. But here, we have some unique challenges because we don't just have h &P employees. So we've got a, a very large third-party workforce who all have their own individual safety initiatives as well. Appreciate it. We talk about it often and, and make sure we're doing the right thing and make sure everybody's on the same page. So this is a 489, took a skid off the bottom, and we're um, making all the modifications to turn into a walking rig. So in here, we're doing some drillless console modifications. We've had some changes to the way the buttons work. So over here, this is a completely gutted cabin. As you can see, all this stuff has been taken out, um, pre-painted. And right now, it's, a, it's on its way back in. We're working gutters, we're running cable, we're working the console here. These guys are, are working the um, joysticks. We take pride on our work, so everything that leaves Houston, we try to make sure that it's gonna be the best condition quality-wise. It's a long list. It's a lot of checkpoints to check off. When you leave this place, we gotta make sure that we're giving the best rig every single day. We got a small team here. Best group of guys I've ever been around, by far. At the end of the day, it's all of our names on it. And I'm glad to say we have a good team, and I'm glad to have the names on that rig. Our culture here, our workforce, is very motivated. Sometimes it's two or three rigs we're working on at the same time like we are now. When we got 616, 700, 648. They're always more than willing to, to jump in and get whatever done that needs to be done. They're it, right? They're, these are the guys that go behind the scenes, right? Everything that goes through the field comes through here, and these are the guys that started off.